Over the past 30 years. Over the last 30 years. Over the last 30 years. In the last 30 years, we've mastered the economics beyond, behind change and the economics behind growth. Uh, we need to address the issue of uh, how leadership, uh, proper uh, accountability, can lead to transformation. We have learned that the globalization uh, has uh, provided opportunities for developing countries, uh, but also risks. With the uh, global financial crisis, things uh, have probably changed in significant ways. So the opportunities uh, provided by trade uh, are more limited now. Migration uh, to certain parts of the world has become a major problem. The major uh, risk uh, is the lack of uh, appropriate governance uh, of the international economic system. So there are huge gaps in the governance uh, in the areas like taxation, uh, like finance, and certainly migration. Uh, that they pose uh, a lot of risk for, for countries. My main work now with the uh, wider is uh, on the international monetary system. The key questions are whether the, uh, uh, the international monetary system provides uh, stability to the global economy, how you prevent crisis from happening, uh, and how you manage crisis when they occur. We need to pay a lot more attention to the link between growth poverty and inequality. Once we've done that, it should be possible for us to pursue the ag agenda of structural transformation. Over the next 30 years. Over the next 30 years. Over the next 30 years. In 30 years time, the developing countries uh, will have a much larger share in the world economy and therefore can provide each other more opportunities than they have ever done in the past. I believe that Wider's role as a leader in developing the economic research will be enhanced as a result of the building of the bridges between what is done here in Helsinki and what is done in universities around the world.